welcome. I'm Mai Rodriguez Marilio, and I'll be your host for today's roundtable entitled Tuloy Tuloy Lang Sa Red Doors, The New Moments and Safe Travels Are Just Ahead. Now, first off, let me acknowledge everyone who's here today. It's a pleasure having you all. We have, of course, Miguel Capistrano III, Country Manager of Red Doors Philippines. We have Michelle Ong, Red Doors Partner and Owner of Red Doors Plus at Kamuni in Quezon City, as well as Anne and Jerome Bustamante of Sans Hotels at Berry Suites, Tagaytay. And of course, how can I forget our dear friends from the media? From PNA, Rappler, Malaya, Philstar, Manila Standard, Business Mirror, Manila Times, and Net25. On behalf of Red Doors Philippines, let me just say thank you for taking the time to join us today. So now we'll talk about how Red Doors Philippines, the leading budget hotel chain, is continuously opening its doors to Filipinos across the country, serving guests with new safe stays and experiences. Now, before we get started, let me just go over a few quick reminders. Your microphones will be muted throughout the program so we can clearly hear each of our speakers. But of course, we would love to hear from you in the Q&A. There will be a Q&A later, so don't worry. And if you want to ask a question, just type them in the chat box or send it directly to Angelou Artus. You're also encouraged to turn on your videos because it would be so nice to see all your faces and feel free to use the Zoom backgrounds we've sent you all. And lastly, just a heads up, this event will be recorded for documentation purposes. Now, let us begin with a question. Who among you are just itching to go on your next out-of-town adventure? A show of hands, please. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe to say that we all can't wait. And thankfully, travel restrictions are easing up and with the holiday season almost upon us and with more cities reopening, maybe we can once again start packing our bags and planning our next escape. Now, wouldn't that be wonderful? And here's a plus. We can always count on Red Doors and Sans Hotel safe and affordable offers. But of course, well, we're talking about the new normal here, right? So the new normal of travel still requires an extra level of care and caution, which is why it's important to have accommodations we can trust. And that is the promise of Red Doors as it offers um, hassle-free, practical and fun places to stay in. It also guarantees that hygiene and sanitation practices are best implemented. That's why we say, tuloy tuloy lang sa red doors where new moments and safe experiences and travels are just ahead. Now to tell us more about how the company is aggressively growing and opening its doors wider to more Filipinos, may it be for essential quarantine or leisure stays, please welcome Red Doors' country manager, Miguel Capistrano III. Miguel, take it away. Hi, Mai. Thank you very much for the kind introduction and for starting the event on such a good note. I wholeheartedly agree with you, no? that we are all just looking forward to traveling again. Uh, it is in the nature of Filipinos to um, have that urge to travel, to go out, even just a short distance, to spend some quality time with loved ones and to celebrate good times. Especially, darating na ang Pasko, no? Filipinos have a, uh, an extended Christmas season starting September to December. And this is exactly why Red Doors continues to open its doors to Filipinos all over the country. Before I delve deep into that, though, allow me to show you a short video to give you an overview on Red Dress Philippines and our wonderful operations all over the country.
wasn't that great? Doesn't that just make you feel so thrilled to travel? Now, at this point, as promised, I'd, I'd like to take you through the details. So since uh, the pandemic, it has been a roller coaster for us. No, We've closed properties due to fear, restrictions, and revenue challenges. Can we open this slide now? Thanks. So um, because of these challenges brought about with the pandemic, um, there were instances that we had to close properties because uh, as we all know, LGU restrictions uh, uh, vary no? uh, throughout the nation. Some very strict, some uh, slightly uh, GCQ, no? uh, less stricter. Um, but as we went along, no? we had to uh, tide through that situation wherein we would open and close, open and close. But um, we know that uh, this will end soon. So we, we really wanted to move forward. Despite all these macro challenges, we have learned to weather the pandemic and have expanded even though and announced that we are now a multi-branded platform. Uh, middle of this year, around July, we launched the first um, SANS Hotel, um, aside from our mother brand, uh, th that is Red Doors. And um, we are happy to announce that uh, La Peral Apartments in Manila, which uh, is a mid-century uh, well-established building uh, is now um, one of the um, Sans Hotel destinations. And then we, the next slide will show us that uh, we also have, uh, before I announce the next brands, we also have uh, Sans Hotel in Tagaytay. Uh, Berry Suites is now a Sans Hotel Berry Suites in Tagaytay and later you'll meet the owners. Uh, we also opened um, another Sans in Cebu down south. Uh, we converted Rana Hotel into a Sans Hotel, no? Sans Hotel Rana in Cebu. And soon we will have more Sans Hotels as I will announce later. In Indonesia, we actually have uh, grown to five brands. Uh, we have the Sunera, which is our four-star uh, full hotel um, service facility, uh, property. And then we have Urban View Hotels and also full cost hotels. Soon we are looking at having these hotels also in the Philippines and across Southeast Asia. So we are now a new, um, one of the strongest, if not the strongest, multi-branded uh, hotel chain in Southeast Asia. Next slide will show you how we are improving our hygiene pass protocols and adding more training for our property managers and hotel staff. Um, as we all know, as we announced earlier uh, in the media and uh, in all our, uh, our activities, we have uh, uh, launched hygiene pass certification program last year with the help of our uh, consultant, public health, expert Dr. Renzo Gento, who studied in Harvard, and also along uh, with the government's uh, protocols, uh, we actually implemented safety and sanitation guidelines, uh, auditing and implementation into the hotels that uh, renters uh, manage, and also non-red doors properties to ensure that uh, each guest's stay would be safe and secure. No? And uh, this is also to protect the employees of uh, the hotels that we manage. We are also implementing more refresher courses for our partner hotels to keep the red door standards. Plus, we are onboarding regional tourism offices, starting with the beautiful province of Cebu, which is our ne next growth market, for product presentations to further help us present these opportunities for growth. Next, today, we are very proud to say that we have aggressively acquired 300 plus hotels and where we focus on key destinations like Cebu, Bohol, Palawan, Siargao, and Sambales. Last July, as I mentioned, we launched SANS Hotels in the Philippines, no? in the Philippines, which is um, a miracle nowadays. Uh, where sadly, uh, in the last year, a lot of our hotel friends and uh, hotel establishments in the Philippines have uh, closed down or closed temporarily. But uh, Red Doors actually have um, has ha opened or uh, launched new brands and new properties, no. And uh, we already have acquired the five hotels today, uh, namely, as I mentioned, in La Peral in Manila, in Cebu, in Tagaytay, and soon in Tarlac and Pampanga. Next, in October alone, since we opened and highlighted these destinations, it's really encouraging to see our brand, how this brand was able to hit 96% of direct bookings and garnered an increase of about 20% app installs. As you all know, our main platform is the Red Doors app, where the Sans Hotels and Red Doors Hotels and soon other brands of ours will, are bookable, will be bookable as well. 
Um, it improved from around 166,000 to 193,000, which really projected signs of improvement for tech-enabled budget hotels like us. And next, this year, we're even hitting over 260,000 Singapore dollars of our overall business value, despite the current situation. And lastly, we are very proud to say that in Southeast Asia, we have been identified as one of the most resilient travel and technology-based companies in 2021. There's no doubt that we will continue to serve Filipinos across the Philippines and give them the new and safe space they need. Ika nga eh, tuloy-tuloy lang with red doors. As we look at the easing of restrictions in the Philippines and how Filipinos are eager to make their travel goals happen for the last two months of 2021, rest assured Red Doors is here to make them happen. Here's what we all can look forward to from Red Doors. Next slide. With Red Doors and Science Hotels, more Filipinos can positively look forward to new and safe adventures and experiences with Red Doors and Science Hotels as uh, travels reopen in the Philippines. Next, Red Doors aims to capture Filipinos' togetherness and continue embracing and celebrating the new holiday moments with friends and families while we deal with the macro situation. Next, we'd like to emphasize that Filipinos could never give up traveling. Ika nga, we have the pent up travel demand, no? I think it's all over the world. Our occupancy increased an average of 41% this year, which reflects that there are good signs for us in the tourism industry. So with our several hotel offers, we will provide more affordable and accessible hotels to be able to pinch that urge of traveling and the need to go out even just a few steps away from their houses. Next, with a total of 10 SANS hotels and 61 Red Doors hotels to acquire in Q4, this season reflects Red Doors as a hotel management company that aggressively shows uh, growth opening new hotels brand, uh, new hotel brands like sorry Sands and Sonera and even the Urban Views and the Pool Cost soon. Continues to open its doors to Filipinos across the country and continues serving guests with new safe stays and hotel experiences. May it be for essential or quarantine or leisure stays. This is why Tuloy Tuloy Lang Sa Red Doors is a very important campaign for us because not only do we look at rooms for growth in the new normal, but we also look at what Filipinos can hope for and what they need in order to continue their day-to-day -day on a brighter note, especially how to have a new and safe restart for the upcoming holidays. And before I end, I, I just like to end special, uh, I'd like to extend no, my special thanks to the Department of Tourism, especially Ms. Verna with uh, Venso Seso and Director Virgilio Magigad no? and the rest of the team of their for their constant uh, all-out support to Red Doors and the entire tourism sector. Uh, they've ceaselessly been a pillar of support for the entire Red Doors Philippines and we all, we owe all our success to them. Thank you so much, DOTA. So that's about it from me. We hope you are as excited as we are and remember, tuloy tuloy lang tayo sa Red Doors. As we close this program, it's important to acknowledge that this success, this road to recovery hasn't been easy for all of us. As much as there were wins, uh, so were there losses as well. But as my mentioned, we were able to make it through, even with flying colors, because it's been a team effort from the very beginning. Now, as we hopefully tread the last few months of the year, um, in this pandemic, may we continue the team effort to bring back the fun in the Philippines and we can do this, no? Basta tuloy-tuloy lang with Red Doors. Thank you once again to everyone for joining us in today's session and very fruitful discussion. On behalf of Red Doors, thank you Michelle and Mary uh, and Jerome and Mary Ann, the wife, and uh, for making the time for us today and thank you as well to our friends from the media for your gracious presence. Together, let's welcome new moments and safe travels ahead. Thank you once again, Hope, and I hope to see you in Red Doors and Sans Hotels soon. Happy holidays, by the way, and goodbye. Your success and hard work, Miguel, and all the hotel owners yes, is so yes. inspiring. Thank you, Miguel, for those moving words. And yes, I also want to thank Michelle, Mary Ann, and Jerome for being here today. It was such a pleasure hearing from you all. And of course, thank you as well. To our media friends, representatives from PNA, Rappler, Malaya, Philstar, Manila Standard, Business Mirror, 
Manila Times and Net25. We are very, very grateful to have you here. Don't leave yet because before we end, I'd like to ask everyone to turn on your cameras, please, because we're doing a quick photo op. Is everyone ready? Okay, I'll take the screenshot. One, two, three, smile. Okay, one more. One, two, three, smile. Great. Thank you, okay, Mike. I hope we all look great. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, we are so ready to travel. I hope to see you around during our safe holiday stays because as we have definitely learned today, Red Doors is making travel happen for the Philippines. Indeed, tuloy tuloy lang tayo with Red Doors and Sam's Hotels. Once again, I'm Mai Rodriguez Marilio and I'm honored to have hosted for you today. Have a great day, everyone, and please be safe. Goodbye.